This is Wallace's last large whirly gig. So we are so proud and honored to be a part of his story and a part of the story of the art of North Carolina. He was recognized as a North Carolina treasure along with Bradford Mar Marsalis last fall. He'll be 95 years old this coming January. His output is prodigious and so important to communicating his life and our life here in North Carolina. The reason that we have this whirly gig has to do with love. Caroline Butts was a, such a giver, such a contributor to our community. She was very, very, very involved in the art museum and, and many other things locally. She passed away in November of 2010 and her family, God love them, they said, anyone who wished to make gifts in Caroline's memory, make them to the museum and more specifically to an acquisitions fund. Let's buy a work of art to honor Caroline and her work. I hope when you watch it twirl on a much more windy day, I want you to think about what this installation and this acquisition represents for our community. The travel of the Whirly Gig to Wilmington, the installation of the Whirly Gig, that's what this is about. Jesse Malpas, Jesse went up to Lukama with his guys, brought the Whirly Gig here, donated his time, talents, and services. Then Beth Panko with SDI Construction, she made all the rest of it happen. And it's all a gift and a donation to our community. Beth got Rick and Brad Sykes with Ram Jack Foundation Solutions to help us with driving the piers. Doug Jones, engineer with Chris Holmes Engineering. Doug engineered the installation of the Whirly Gig such that if a hurricane comes along and it lists or something happens, we don't have to dig up the whole project. It's kind of a turnbuckle system. Our crew can tighten screws and write it such that it's level again. George Hobbs with American Patio and Polecat Concrete helped tremendously. So the talent and the resources, all a part of this story. Jeff Curry, Juan Logan, Sam and Mel with the Vala Simpson Whirly Gig Park Project in Wilson, North Carolina. We had four conservators donating their time, painting and restoring the Whirly Gig before it was installed. Nicholas Wilson inspired them. They are conservators of Wallace's work. Henry Walston was a big part of inspiring that.
It represents what can and does happen when we know one another, we love one another, we respect and we get to know each other's talents and resources. Once we got that knowledge, we gather together to create something so much bigger and much more meaningful than we can accomplish alone.